Now, the Ghana Enterprises Agency has reaffirmed its commitment to elevate women-led businesses from micro-scale to larger capacities through government's instituted interventions. Chief Executive Officer Kosi Anki Ai announced a 500,000 Ghana City investment package to support women-led businesses under the Ghana Union of Traders Association. Speaking at the inauguration of the Ashanti Regional Women's Wing of Guta, she emphasized the financial support is to facilitate market accessibility for women and strengthening trade institutions. Available data suggests women form more than 60% of the informal sector of the Ghanaian economy, but they remain the less empowered. Economists attribute the financial challenges to inaccessibility to affordable credit facility, access to markets and other skills. Coordinator of the Women's Wing of the Ghana Union of Traders Association, Pearl Upoku, wants the government to reduce loan facilities and cost of doing business in the country. Professor uh, General, I think, should at least look into the profile of women and there should be a reduction for women to help many business, many women businesses to be able to register with the uh, register general because the women are complaining that the amount is too much for them. It's an amount and uh, uh, I think it's an amount. I can't really tell for now. I, I can't really tell for now. For now. So I think it should be reduced for men. At least for men, it should be different. For women, it should be different. They should rather look into it for us to help many businesses to be able to open a business account. In supporting women stay buoyant in the field of work, the Ghana Enterprises Agency is investing 500,000 Ghana cities to boost growth in micro and small scale businesses. The agency is also instituting training programs to equip women with requisite financial literacy skills and other support programs. Kusi Yanki Aye is the chief executive of GEA. Because yes, women have micro businesses, but the businesses are not moving from micro to small to medium, and they are not accessing markets. So we are designing programs that would allow women businesses to access more markets, women businesses to move from the micro businesses and migrate to big businesses so that they can actually create more jobs so yes there's an emphasis of women uh, entrepreneurs across the nation and that has been the agenda second lady Samira Baumia indicated the government's readiness to increase opportunities for women <laughs> Guta, realizing the need to better understand women's concern, is establishing regional chapters of its women's wing. President of the association, Dr. Joseph Obey, says the establishment of the wing is a step to facilitate transborder trade for women. We are losing out to the other um, West African countries um, because um, they do not have information what items even to send to those destinations and all that. We are going to resource them, give them the necessary information to know what they have to trade because it shouldn't be that they are only in Ghana. And how are we also going to resource them like um, the, uh, Madam Kusiyanka uh, uh, Yanki said that um, we have to uh, make sure that they also um, help um, make the chain of distribution complete. For Joy News, my name is Emmanuel Brightquickle.